Oh my god, get me the fuck out of here. I hope I never have to see that thing again. Like, never ever in my life, I hope. I hope to never see that again. Oh my god, I get the feeling we're not quite done with it, though. Well, I hear another baby, so... I'm concerned. Color me concerned. Oh, I think it's just the, like... The doll... The doll child laughing. God. That was that was a really creepy sequence, for sure. Don't leave. I can't let you. Oh, you're still alive. So we have to find her. Now we're playing hide and seek. Oh boy. Oh, that's really creepy. Okay, well. Yeah, they just like shake and freak out. Dude, what is. Yeah, this is the creepiest part of the game for sure. Nothing's gonna top this, I bet, for the rest of the game. This is just 100% the creepy part of the game. I think I found you. Quit playing games with me, you little bat. Oh, Bibby, go! Oh, come on, oh bastard! All right, so we just have to keep playing hide and seek, I guess, until we kill the doll that flies around. I found you. That doesn't count, I guess. Got blood on the walls. I'm assuming this is kind of showing me where I should probably be heading. Maybe not, though. It just kind of sucks, because, like, if you're too slow, you probably just die, I guess. Which is pretty, uh, dang unfortunate. Where is she? Sounds like she's laughing over here. Oh, here she is. Do they go this way? I don't know where they went, actually. Man, the colors look fucking wild here. Oh, I found her again. That was quick. Yeah, stab her. This is messed up. <laughs> this is like, this is some messed up stuff. Oh shit, we killed her? Oh god. She's dead. It's over. And now we get a key. We'll make things right. What? Hey, there's our jar that we're looking for. I need to get out of this place. Oh my god, well, what is this? Combined with the four-winged key. And now we have so the four... Oh. All this. Got no strings. Defeat Donna and Angie. Well, she's out of here. And we're gonna sell this fucking doll, that's for sure. Well, it, it says that there's still, like, an item around here. I don't know what it would be. Well, I mean, I guess I guess I kind of do know what it would be. It would be the the jar that's probably right here. That we got the legs two. flask. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. So this area is done. So I thought I thought like most of the areas were going to be kind of like actiony, but no, this was primarily like puzzle exploration and then kind of like a a nice hide and seek boss fight. Interesting stuff. De definitely a change of pace from what we've been doing in the game so far. Let me... Uh, I got all my items back. That's great.
See, Donna's creepy-ass doll, it doesn't move anymore, thank God. Can I, like, pop the head off and put it on the other doll? Apparently not. I don't know where to get this doll head at. I figured it might have been, like, in this area, but... I don't know. It seems like I've found everything to get in this house, as far as I can tell. I thought for sure, if anything, it would be in this area where all the stupid dolls are at, but... Nope. Well, it looks like we can get the hell out of here, and we can go into that other door that I was kind of confused on how to get into. All right. Well, we didn't have to kill the weird baby thing. I guess it's just left in the basement forever. <laughs> it's just sitting down there. It'll just starve to death, I guess. Whatever. Doesn't bother me at all. The fuck that thing. That thing was creepy. There was still that treasure that was outside in the beginning. I don't know if that's, like, opened up now, but... I'm kind, I'm kind of hoping it just is. So I can just get free treasure and not have to figure out a puzzle. Is this by chance opened up? Probably not. Can't use that here. Well, we can definitely use something on it. Use the legs flask. Nope. I'm not even sure. Freed from the birds of flesh, she now walks the valley of death. I'm not sure, like, what I could put here, actually. And it, it, it has to be a key item, so it's not that... It's probably... I mean, I guess I'll just try everything just to kind of... Maybe I have to get, like, the rest of that. If I had to guess, maybe there's, like, a little a little plate somewhere that you can get and kind of fill... Yeah, that... It has to be, like, the rest of the plate. I don't know where that the rest of this plate would be, though. I'm not sure if I get it later or, like, maybe it's on kind of, like, a, a tombstone somewhere. You can kind of, like, break it off. Unfortunately, I feel like I probably won't really be able to figure this one out. But it definitely seems like I need to get the rest of the... of this, like, headstone here. This, like, little stone plate. And I'm not quite sure where that's at, so maybe we find it later. I feel like it would be in this area, but I... Right now, I've got no clue. Oh, there's some stuff over here to get, at least. Was this blocked off before, or did I just miss this? I Oh, there's some enemies here. I feel like this was blocked off, but maybe I did miss this. Oh, there's a birdcage up here. Well, guess what? Guess what we're doing? Never mind, we're not doing it, because I fucked up. Oh, there's uh, quite a few enemies here. That ah, shotgun shot sucked. Well, let's go ahead and... Oh, shit. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies here. Jeez. The good news is it's, that it's kind of like the slow enemies. I wonder if I should just kind of pipe bomb like a bunch of these guys. Brag out. Oh, I got a strategist trophy for that. Defeat at least three enemies with one attack in the story. Nice. So I got three guys with that at least. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> Didn't know where that guy came from. Oh, come on. There we go. We got a crystal skull. We got some money. We got another asshole wandering around making me miss pistol bullets because I suck. Some of these are, like, kind of generous. Feels like the feels like the hitbox is kind of generous. Also, I, I don't think this tree was here before. So, now, yeah, they are kind of, like, forcing me to go this way, I think. Where's this money at? 
I have no... Okay, whatever. Pick up this money. We can go in here. Ooh, a mine. A nice mine. Ooh, a lockpick. Hell yeah. Oh shit, is this like a... Oh, it's like a new shoddy. We got like a better shoddy that I can try to try to upgrade now. Let's take a look at this. A powerful wide spraying pump action combat shotgun. 760 damage. Okay, what's the other one? The other one is at 720. This uh this other shotgun's actually already better. I should probably like get rid of the shells in this bad boy and then swap to this other shotgun. I think that's what I'm going to do. Because it's, it's, like, already better. And I could probably upgrade it up. Oh, shit. I can probably upgrade it a little bit as well. I'm going to wait for him to come out of the ground. I don't know if there's any kind of weird shit where they're coming out of the ground. Maybe they're, like, invincible or some shit, but... Just to be sure. I also need to try to remember to not reload that shotgun. It's going to be very hard, and I bet I'm going to mess it up. So try not to yell at me too much, but I, I am aware that I shouldn't upload or upload. I shouldn't reload the shotgun. Yeah, I'm going to upload my shotgun to YouTube. You guys want to see it? I'm going to upload it for you right now. Ooh, 2,000 money. Nice. I mean, if anything, that piece of the headstone would be, like, in this area, right? Sun and moon ball. I, I really don't know what to do with that. I have no clue what to do with that. A ball made of metal decorated with a sun and a moon. It looks like the ball we used way earlier in Castle Domitresque. Where we had, like, the, the castle ball puzzle. Was there another one? Was there a second one of those somewhere? I don't remember. Maybe I have to go back to to Castle Domitresque and do something in there. But I don't know how to get back in there, so If anything, if I run into one more one more of those castle puzzles, then I guess I'll have a a decent idea of what to do, but for now I don't really know where to put that. There might have been a second puzzle in there, I don't remember. I really don't remember. This is also a new area. Can we just leave? We can just leave, right? I'm assuming we can just leave. Well, I don't know why I would want to leave when we can go explore this. It's also very kind of, like, foggy. It's kind of, like, difficult to see a little bit. Between between how the light acts in this area, and it seems to be a little foggy. Yeah, it's a little foggy. A little foggy out today. What we got in here? About to blast someone going to the bathroom. Photo of a strange bird. There's a blue bird somewhere, apparently. That I probably have to kill. We have to kill the rare bird for some reason. If we kill the rare bird, then we get good luck? Question mark? What did that say? A photo of a bird as blue as the sky. Where was it taken? Not exactly sure where. Kind of looks like that's, like, the main area of the village, maybe? Kind of like in the cemetery area where the first goat might have been? Not exactly sure where that's at. I don't think it... I mean, it could be in this... Oh, there's also a well here. It could be in this area, but I don't know. Have to try and figure that out, huh? Oh, we got the... There's the doll head right there. Well... That checks out. Let's go ahead and combine this doll head with this doll. Now we have a completed doll. And take a nice look at it as well. Very good. Wonder how much that bad boy's worth. Miss Madalena. A complete antique doll of a young witch based on a local legend. Okay. Very good. Oh, well, I think I figured out where the ball goes. <laughs> I think that was a quick one, huh? That was real quick. November 10th, Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. 
Ever since childhood, she has always feared others due to the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made her. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. November 27th. Mistress Donna seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother? November 29th. Mistress Donna gave me yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. Probably has something to do with why we were seeing Mia kind of wandering around. We also have Luthier's Key. Looks like we got the uh, the little violin instrument that we need. Probably just need to separate that off of the key. If possible, maybe I don't really need to do anything with it. No, we'll worry about that a little bit later then. We'll go ahead and save up as well. And I think the only thing to do here is the puzzle that's right here. Not really sure if it's a puzzle, but... We'll go ahead and drop that there, and down it goes. Oh, shit, it can fall off. I'm ass Oh, shit, the fences are, like, kind of going up and down. Oh, yep. Hold on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hey, I got kind of saved there. Oh, come on. It's so fucking fast. Jesus, slow down, brother. This ball is cruising. Get in the hole. Thank you. Yay, we got, like, fireworks shooting out. Cool. Ooh, an onyx skull? Oh shit, look at that. Something out here? Who's out here? There's apparently still something in this, in this area. Oh, what is this? Oh, explosive rounds. Well, unfortunately, I still don't have a grenade launcher or whatever it is that fires these rounds. I wish I was able to get that that treasure that was like way back there, but I don't know how to get it. I don't know where I would find like the the stone piece to kind of complete that, but this area is kind of done. I guess we can probably go back to the merchant real quick. I feel like I've definitely missed something in this area. But, you know, if I don't get that treasure, then it's kind of whatever. I would rather get it. Oh, there's bat enemies here. Yeah, they're like all down there. I would rather get the treasure, but, you know, if I miss out on it, then that's just kind of... That's just kind of... Oh, there's a goat over there. It's just kind of how it be. Like I mentioned uh, quite a bit earlier, for like a first playthrough... I just kind of take my losses as they come. If I can't figure something out, as long as it doesn't, like, screw up the game or, like, as long as I can keep making progress. Oh, yeah, there's definitely enemies here. Then, uh, you know, I just kind of take my losses as they happen, right? That was a pretty solid, meaty shot. There's a birdcage over there. Pick up that money. If anything, it might kind of be uh, in this area. Like, I don't know, maybe you could, like, shoot one of these things down and it has it. Oh, there's some flower here? Hmm. wonder if we're going to be fighting more enemies. Large crystal there? I thought this might have been it, but... Trying to make sure I don't reload. It's very hard for me. But I am trying. Nice crystal skull. I never checked the onyx one. Can I combine this with anything? Doesn't look like it. Crystallized human remains found in the labyrinth near House Beneviento. I think the only thing I can really combine with anything is this necklace, yeah. 
We can drop down down there if we want. I still want to get that bird cage though. Was this flower here before? I don't remember that. Random flower popping up. See the bird cage right here. There's another one over there. Handgun ammo, cool. Oh, there's a lot of bird cages hanging around here. Looks like we got a lot of money in the bird cages. And a body falling on me. I feel like I missed one, but no, I think I I think I got all the ones that I could see. There's like a random jewel here? Okay. I feel like all of this stuff has spawned in recently, at least most of it. I feel like I... Oh, 3,000. Damn. I feel like I didn't miss all of this stuff. Like, this seems like a lot for me to miss, right? I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's impossible, but... This was quite a bit of stuff to miss. And I've been kind of, like, looking up trying to see stuff. Sorry, this, this helps me drain the shotgun of some shells, so... So I can sell it. I don't know if, like, expending the ammo makes it cut worth less when I sell it, but it's kind of like a, a minor detail I don't really care about. I'd rather just kind of use the ammo. And we're back to the village. So we can go ahead and put our second jar in here, wherever that may be. Legs flask, we got the leg, we've got the head and the legs, so we're halfway there, baby. Someone who knows how to sing needs to sing the Bon Jovi song. No cutscene, though, no little flashback cutscene, unfortunately. And I'm sure we can open this now because of the, the key we got. Oh, he's like patting a doll. He got a doll from somewhere. Does this look familiar to you? Interesting. I don't think I've really gotten any food. I could make this. What is this? Enough to make your entire body feel more sturdy than before. Damage taken while... Oh, yeah, it's the damage taken while guarding. I would rather have this, but I'm missing a meat. I want a meat. Someone Please needs to give me their shmeat. My new stock. Well, we can go ahead and sell, like, all of this stuff, then. We'll sell that. We'll sell the crystal skulls that I've gotten. We'll sell Angie. I don't think we can combine that with anything. I like how it just says Donna's creepy-ass doll. <laughs> like, we won't sell this because it's combinable. We will also sell that. And that. And we'll keep the rest of the stuff. 75k, holy shit. Ah, Miss Angie. Just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. Oh, I know. That's why you paid me, like, a ton of money Do for it. Do you have enough firepower? I can now offer an expanded weapon modification service. We'll see. Do you got anything new? We can make flashbangs, which I'm sure gets shot out of a grenade launcher. I feel like I should really have the grenade launcher by now. Like, I, I probably definitely missed it somewhere, which sucks, but I'm not sure. We've got, we've got some attachments for some of the new weapons that I've picked up. Here's a grip for the new handgun. Here's, here's a stock for the new shotgun. So I might want to buy some of that stuff. Other than that, we can upgrade some stuff. I, I will probably no longer upgrade this shotgun. I'm, I'm planning on selling it once I get rid of the rest of the ammo. Same with this Same with this pistol here. I'll probably instead focus my, my money on some of the new weapons. Because they are just kind of by default a little bit stronger, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy probably these two things. 
<laughs> we'll go ahead and equip that. We'll buy the shotgun stock as well and equip that. I do tend to use the pistol. Used to be alive. I do tend to use the pistol a little bit more than the shotgun, so I'll probably focus trying to upgrade this for now. We'll this go ahead and upgrade that. Can be done in just a moment. Ammo capacity, reload speed, also good. Let me try to upgrade this a little bit. Yeah, I still got a good, uh -huh. good bit of money. We'll upgrade the reload speed as well. And probably the ammo capacity. I could probably sell, you know, I should probably really work on getting rid of all of the ammo in this pistol and the ammo in the shotgun. So that way I can sell them without feeling too bad about wasting ammo. Plus, if I sell this pistol now, I that's like 18 pistol bullets gone. So that's probably how I'm going to manage that. Other than that, we can try to go into the village and see if I can get inside, like, yeah, this house. We should have the key to that house now, so maybe I'll zip over there real quick, try to do that. I'll have my shotgun out so I can try to blow through the rest of these shells. Yeah, wasn't this where the, like, blue bird would have been at? Oh, we got some enemies around here. I feel like this little hut was in the picture, and the blue bird is, like, somewhere around here. Ooh, can I get a double shot? Oh, man, they're, like, not lined up very well, I feel like. Oh, I missed the, I missed the one in front of me somehow. That's interesting. <laughs> Also, if I was paying attention, I should have used the rest of the ammo in my other handgun and then upgraded the uh, the capacity, but... And that's how it goes. Where did that other guy die? Yeah, he died, like, right here. Ooh, nice crystal skull. Yeah, I feel like the blue... Oh, there's the blue bird. I'm sorry for killing you. Ooh, we got juicy game. We got juicy game out of that bluebird. I think I can make. Uh, I might be able to make a, a pretty good, pretty good hearty meal back at the Duke. I just need to find where was that one building? It was like over here. I need to get over here somehow, and I get the feeling that this is yes, this is definitely blocked off. So I need to figure out how to get back over there. I think that might just involve kind of climbing under the tractor, right? Let's see if we can get into that house. Also, if I don't use the rest of this ammo by the time I get back to the Duke, I'm probably just going to sell it. Because it's only like, oh, well, this shotgun is like... Man, am I really out of shotgun shells? It's weird. It says I have, like, no... Oh, wait. It said I had, like, zero out of zero, right? Was I crazy? Maybe I'm a little crazy. I feel like it said zero out of zero, and then I went into my menu, and then it said I had, like, a bunch of ammo, including the one shell still in it. So right, I'll probably sell this and the other handgun, and hopefully that's not too big of a mistake. Otherwise, I'm going to have some egg on my face, but we'll be fine. I thought maybe I needed to put, like, something in that, but apparently not. We got some money. We got an empty drawer. Cool. That's what I love to see. What is this? Chem fluid K. Some money. Is this a license plate? No, it's a it's a musical instrument thing. I was like, is this a license plate? Oh, come on, there's a code. I'll never forget her fifth birthday. Seven six three nine three four.
Dang it, that didn't unlock it. Well, I'm guessing this note has something to do with it. I'll never forget her fifth birthday. I don't know exactly what that means. I was hoping that this would be it. 763934. 763934. Yeah, so I don't think that's it. So there's definitely something else that... Oh, look at that. Got that at least. Yellow quartz. It's gotta be, there's got to be something else in this in this building that happy birthday 27 9 17 all right there we go so I guess that was probably just there to kind of throw you off a little bit we get this steel thing I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that and we also get a high-capacity mag for the sniper rifles. That's pretty good. We'll go ahead and equip that real quick. Where is it at? I don't know where it's at in my inventory. It's somewhere here, right? Oh, here it is. Equip part. We'll equip it with... Well, actually, high-capacity mag. You know, maybe I should, like... Maybe I should use the ammo on this before I combine that. And we also got a treasure... So I think we're probably... Yeah, we're done. We're done in here. So I got the treasure. I was hoping it would be a grenade launcher or something, but still I have yet to find the grenade launcher, and considering I'm finding ammo for it, I feel like I've missed it somewhere, which is, like I said, unfortunate, but maybe, maybe I'll stumble into it eventually. That or I could just say, fuck it, look it up. I could, I could just look it up, but... You know, that is always a possibility. At this point, I don't know what else I want to do. Probably just go back to the merchant. I should probably check this uh, this treasure I got. Yellow mineral looks pricey. Also, can't really combine this with anything, it looks like. So we can just sell that as well. And this crystal skull. So we get a little bit more money. Plus, I'll probably sell my, my weapons as well that I don't want. So we'll do a little bit of haggling with the merchant. And that'll probably leave me with a good amount of money to upgrade other things that I want. So we're looking we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty solid. I never know how to like get back to the main area. I think there's like a ladder I can climb somewhere. That or I can probably just kinda zip through one of these buildings, right? Yeah, here we are, we're good. So let's go back to the merchant. We'll sell some stuff. I need to make sure I sell the correct... You know, I'm going to save before I do it, just in case I, like, screw up horrifically. That seems like a good idea, right? I'm going to make, like, a different save down here. Naturally. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff real quick. So we want to sell... Not that, because that's new. We want to sell this... I believe we want to sell that, and not the 1911. We want to sell the Lemmy. So we're getting, like, another 66 k just from this. Hopefully this isn't a big mistake, but whatever. I'm pulling the trigger. I'm surprised you'd part with this so early. <laughs> so early? Well, I mean, I do have, like, the 1911 and the other shotgun, right? Unless I accidentally sold those, but I did make a save. Yeah, here's the 1911 and the other shotgun. Uh, other than that, I need to sell the treasures. So, ooh, 10 k yellow quartz. Not bad. 14k for the bird. Yeah, the Norse Eagle. Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? Other than that. Oh yeah, we can rebuy the Lemmy. Pretty costly though. We can rebuy the Lemmy, we can rebuy the shotgun. I don't want to do that though. I guess I'll just kind of upgrade my weapons then. Used to be alive. Mm-hmm. Looks like everything's about as upgraded as I can get it right now. Except the sniper rifle. I, I guess I can kind of dump stuff into this. Mm -hmm. 
lot of lot of sniper rifle upgrades here. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess I could have, like, waited for the ammo capacity. I feel like I'm just going to forget, and I might as well just upgrade it now. Like, I've been talking about trying to upgrade the ammo capacity when I kind of need it, but I think I'm good enough on ammo right now that it doesn't matter a whole ton. He's talking about food a lot. Ever since he got the kitchen, he's, like, talking about food nonstop. We did get that juicy game. Unfortunately, I am still missing a meat. I still have to find a meat from somewhere, so... We'll have to see if there's any animals I can kill anywhere. Come again. They usually do pop up on the map, but you might have to, like, see them first. Not exactly sure. All of the animals, I think, on the map that are visible have been crossed out because I already have killed them, so. I wonder what would happen if you go, like, all the way back to the beginning. I wonder if there's anything, like, I might, I might try to go check that out. See if there's anything back here. Maybe there's some, like, animals or something. But I feel like that's probably a good idea for next time. Uh, so this will be it for now. When we come back, we'll probably head through that gate. That or maybe I'll go explore kind of this like beginning pathway if you can even get back to it. Maybe I'll do this on my own just to see if there's anything over there. And then if there's not anything over there, then I don't really have to waste any time on recording doing that. I can just kind of figure that out for myself, right? So when we come back, we'll probably head through this gate over here. On to the next Lord. We've got two out of four. And we're making some good progress. So that'll be it for me for this time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys then.